Pretty incredible footage that you're seeing right now. Breaking news tonight at 11. The Charleston Fire Department has responded to a large fire. This is at a construction site on Johns Island. We've received pictures and video showing this fire visible from many miles away. In fact, parts of Maybank Highway are still closed right now. This is video of the fire just after crews responded. It happened at the 12 Oaks at Fenwick Plantation starting at around 6.15 this evening. News News Kevon Dupree is at the scene right now where parts of Maybank Highway are still being blocked off right now. Kevon, you got to the scene as firefighters were battling that fire. Brendan Carolyn, the fire is at an apartment complex that is currently under construction here on Johns Island. And as you can see behind me, there's a lot of emergency personnel here in the area. What I'm going to do is step out of the way to give you a better look at home at the situation. And as you can see from this video that we've taken from a viewer earlier, it was certainly a huge fire. Now, someone in the area had sent it to us around the, the time the fire had first started. I'm told the name of the apartment complex is 12 Oaks at Fenwick Plantation, which is still being constructed off of Maybank Highway. Fire officials have not released an official cause of the fire at this time. When I first arrived around 730, there were more than 20 Charleston fire personnel and police emergency vehicles who had responded to the scene. I was able to catch a glimpse of multiple crews working to extinguish the blaze, but I'm not sure if it's completely under control as of now. There are also a lot of people who live in the area who are stranded in a nearby shopping center parking lot and aren't able to get home because the roadway is completely blocked. I'm a pretty patient person, so um, I don't, I haven't hit that part, you know, that point yet, but it has been almost four hours, so I'm getting there for sure. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I hope I don't have to sleep in my car tonight. That would be nice. Now, it's still unclear if the blaze is completely out, but we will continue to keep you updated both on air and online at CountOn2.com. For now, reporting live in Johns Island, I'm Kevon Dupree, CountOn2.